Boat propellers were invented in the early 19th century, and they've been making waves ever since. These propellers rotate in a screw-like fashion, drawing water in and pushing it out to move the boat across the water. It's why the propeller is sometimes called the screw. With a steel propeller, you can skim across the lake in a flash and a splash. To make a propeller, they start by melting wax pellets until they're the consistency of toothpaste. Nearby, a mold of a boat propeller closes and they inject the thick wax into it. It takes about a minute for the wax to cool into the propeller shape, which will serve as a pattern for making the metal prop. A bit of compressed air helps extract a wax funnel from its mold. It's called the pour cup. We'll see what it's for later. They wipe down the cast shapes, then soften the end of the prop on a burner and join it to the glue-coated end of the pour cup. They dip the attached pieces into hot wax to fill any gaps in the joint. A quick wash and rinse gets rid of any oily residues on the wax models. Here, a robot submerges a rack with several propellers on it in a special solution that gives them a non-stick coating. Then it's over to a tank that contains a mix of silica sand and water. The robot dips the wax propellers in it several times, then plunges them repeatedly in ceramic-based concoctions. After each dipping, the propellers go into a machine that showers them with sand. Then they dry in a room with a system of fans. The process of dipping and sand bathing builds up a hard ceramic shell around the wax. They load the propellers into a pressurized oven called an autoclave, where the wax melts away, leaving only the ceramic shells. They fire those ceramic shells in big ovens, the way potters bake ceramics to strengthen them. Nearby, molten steel is bubbling, heated to the melting point by electrical induction coils. They take a ceramic propeller shell out of the oven and pour the searing steel into it through the pour cup. The steel immediately begins to cool causing cracks in the ceramic shell. They knock off the remaining bits of ceramic. When they make these steel propellers, they really throw away the mold. Next, they cut off the molded pour cup because it's no longer needed. They grind the edges to smooth them. Then a more intensive grinding removes any corrosion on the surface. This takes skill and strength. Talk about putting your shoulder to the wheel. They lower the propellers into a series of vibrating polishers. The friction from these pulsating cones smooths out the grind lines on the propellers and adds shine. Finally, each propeller gets the once-over from a laser that measures the blades from all angles. It sends the information to a computer, which compares it to the specifications. If it checks out, the propeller will be on its way to a waterway for the big launch. <laughs>